What's up everybody? You probably can see me in the reflection. Today I want to dig a little bit into the holoport and the setup. Some of you maybe have realized that it's not as up and running as everybody wished to be and a lot of people had problems with registering the, the email or getting the confirmation email that is registering the holoport. Now I fixed that and um, I want to give like a little tutorial on how to do that. Um, well, as you can see, like I kind of already was able to control the device by going into the BIOS. The BIOS, as you can see here, it's like the GN Group version 2.02, but that doesn't matter. Like what we want is we want to... Um, get to this page here i'm gonna like cue it in here i'm gonna show like a screenshot okay this is where we want to go so apparently the only way to do that is by like if you're having problems with registrating if you're having problem getting the registration confirmation email which will look like that i'm gonna Put another um, screenshot in here I'm gonna not show the link because it's my private personal link to get on, get on to my uh, admin login but I will definitely show you how to get the confirmation email okay so what you do is basically go to this page I'm gonna link it uh, down in my descriptions and I'm also gonna link this this link here it's uh, the download file. It's basically the download file HPSO reset, right? So what you're gonna do is you download that. You download that just like with your um, the other config file. You download that, and then you put it on your USB drive. You know, you know, this guy here, right? You know this one here right so you're gonna put that in there don't really want to show my download folder so I'm gonna just copy it here so this is this is what it should look like right this is what it should look like the two files on the USB drive so I'm gonna take it out again all right so I'm gonna put it back in the holo port I'm gonna put it right in there uh, you probably can't see nothing. Let me put something on there. So you're gonna put it right back in, preferably into the 3.0 USB drive. You will see a confirmation email like that. Okay, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna look be like like holo. You click on here, then you click on this one first. So it's actually setting up, right? Now you have to wait a little bit. Uh, there's gonna be this countdown going on. This is going to be the last screen you're gonna see, right? This is, this is going to be the screen you're gonna see. And yeah, and yeah, that's it. So that's like, apparently that's supposed to be. So yeah, this is, this is what's supposed to look like with your email which is like whitelisted it has to be the one with with which you purchased your um holoport right so yeah that's that this is as far as i can go apparently you can go further you, apparently you can go further and you can log in here and then you can actually already test with holo test fuel it's not the actual holo fuel like they talk about in uh like they talk about here, right? You, uh, it, this is still like the alpha uh, test version, and you don't really uh, trade with holo fuel. You trade with test fuel, not holo fuel. So it has now, it has no real uh, monetary value, but it has exchange value, and, right? Test fuel cannot be exchanged for any cryptocurrency or national fiat currency, but you can exchange with it. So the idea is to get the grip or to get the ball rolling with how, how holo chain works so yeah I'm a, now 
now that you know how to at least get the registration email, like I, that that was like a big uh, success for me because I like had no time to do it and now it works. And now I'm a little bit frustrated because they tell me to do another reset, to do another factory reset, right? So I'm gonna show you what I mean to have to power off the holoport, remove the USB, which already gave me the registration email. That worked, right? And I don't really know when to type in this kind of command, right? It doesn't say when, because I'm gonna show you in a second. This, right? Now I cannot, now I can uh, decide what I wanna do. Now I can either go up and down with the keys. I can like choose what I want. Like I can use, uh, I can either choose to go default or all configuration. When I do that and I just click enter, then I can apparently choose two different versions of configuration. I'll just take the latest, I guess. So what happens then? It's, he just like restarts, he reboots, he's doing all kinds of commands, he's going through his uh, script his protocol and uh, at this point it it looks good right everything is okay but at this point it doesn't make me it doesn't let me do anything right so my my monitor is just just shut off no signal and uh, I can't go any further so what I do is like I just it's restarting it takes a little bit yeah I can hear the whole part uh, doing something Right, so, so now we're back at the BIOS. Okay, now I click some, I, now I have to click some, some keys. See, now I was like too late. I was too late. Now I have to restart again. I'm gonna just do it right now. I'm just gonna restart. So right, this is, this, this is, this BIOS thing is the only, the only time I'm able to do something, right? And now it says I can either go edit, which brings me to this script here, which honestly, I really don't want to mess with it and type in stuff or save it, which doesn't, it doesn't really give me the option to save anything. It's another uh, bummer. Um, so it says tab lists completion, right? Okay, so now it did something telling me like it's giving me some possible commands and I can't really see them all so maybe I have to just yeah now I just go press tab 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 to see what kind of uh, commands I have but as you can see I don't have the command that was given me by the help desk which didn't get me far yet so I mean I don't wanna uh, critique or diss anyone but like I really wanna move this thing forward but uh, I do think that at this point like right here right there are better options like you, you can definitely help people better if you like do a video and then show people what to do so so then that we have another thing what we can do is like booting or uh, press C for a command line right so I'll do that uh, let's set okay I'll just restart who knows what's this problem I'll just restart try the th same thing again running the protocol once again all right so see now i'm back i was able to get into this menu by just using the, the arrow keys so now i can click c see now and now i'm in the in this one right so now i'm giving you proof i'll type in the command that is, was given me it's like the only, it's the only 
uh, command line that I've found so far. And she's supposed to do that, right? Enter the following command rm minus rf slash vrar, right? And that's all it does, right? So it's supposed to say cannot remove minus far like, like I just it would really it would be really nice if at this point someone would tell me or show me how exactly to to work this I put in the command would really love to hear your thoughts comments or any help from the holo team um, I'm really interested to move this thing forward and I gonna make more videos like that just gonna put them out there and see if we can all benefit from this and uh, yeah so other than that I'm gonna just edit this video click it all together and make it nice so we can learn something all right so take care bye